the most advanced performance capture suit. Instead of having just one camera, we had two high definition cameras on my face and there is really nowhere to hide. So what you see is what you get. That data goes to Weta and they, they can't create new artistic choices. Well, combining live action and, and performance capture is something I've done before, but you know, Robert Rodriguez directed the movie, yeah. so it was his task to figure that out. And he did it in a way quite a bit different from the way I had done it before. He came up with his own method, and of course he used all the, the facial animation technology that we had developed for Avatar. But he did it in his own way. He built a, he built a full set of, of Iron City right behind his studio in, in Austin, Texas, 97,000 square feet of city. And uh, he, you know, he shot it more like a live action film. So he worked out his own techniques. Oh, he's the best. You know, him and I have known each other 25 years, so we've always been friends and have always wanted to work together. So it's kind of like having a really cool big brother who's like, he'll show you all that cool stuff that you don't know how to do yet and is very supportive and mentoring. And you want to be like him and, and impress him, so it's kind of, it's very much like that. Well, I think it is important to balance it. You know, Robert's known as an action filmmaker, so am I. We're also both known as filmmakers that, that try to go for the heart and for the emotion. He's a dad, I'm a dad, he's got, I don't know, hundreds of children. Uh, it seems like, anyway, I think he has six or seven. I've got five. And so we've been through it, so we understand little kids, we understand teenagers and all that. So this is a movie about a teenager. She's a very special teenager. She starts thinking she's the most insignificant person in the world and realizes later that she's got this kind of power she didn't know she had. So it's about, I suppose, you know, unconsciously, it's about finding your own confidence and your own strength and then figuring out what you're going to do with it. What touched me about Alita is that she's not a superhero. That's what I love about her. She's just a regular old girl who goes on a journey of self-discovery and on that journey she discovers, wow, I'm not an insignificant person, I'm actually an extraordinary person with unfathomable power, and I have the ability to change not just my circumstances, but everyone's circumstances. So she's a hero and not a superhero. I like that she's not born with extraordinary capabilities. It's more fun that she discovers them along the way, that she empowers herself. So I, that touches me. Uh, I play Hugo. Um, Hugo's just a regular guy in this kind of tough post-apocalyptic world. Uh, he meets Alita and his whole life changes. Uh, he's a mercenary. He's a, 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 a confident slash arrogant uh, mercenary um, who comes into contact with Alita and therefore conflict um, with Alita. And, um, and then is kind of uh, set upon a mission of revenge after that.